at osmptxreviews.com. Today we're giving you a special look at the Texas Instruments TI-84. This is the original TI-84, not the TI-84 Plus, one of the newest editions of calculators like the TI Touchpad that we've been seeing with the TI Inspire um, by Texas Instruments. This is the TI-84. This is one of the more classical, of course, it's one of the most old uh, school graphing calculator that's still widely used today, and it's um, not the 84 Plus, it's not as sleek, but it still has most of the same features, and it still offers a nice, uh, sturdy design. Price point, of course, you can find it for a lot cheaper. It's a, you can find it, of course, for, of course, I think a lot less, and um, it's not as widely known. This is a reconditioned, which is a refurbished by Texas Instruments. You, you can still find probably refurbished units. Um, in terms of battery, they still have the same four AA batteries, and we have the same, still the same battery compartment with four AA even in today's standard. So, in terms of battery and power. Uh, cons consumption, consumption, it hasn't really changed at all. But battery life on the TI-84, or the original, is going to be a lot less than today's standards because it is going to drain a little quicker because everything in the processing is going to take a little bit more raw power. Otherwise, it's still really lightweight, which is surprising. The screen is really large, and all the keys and buttons are easy to press. Below the uh, keypad, we do have access to your uh, uh, your two and a half mil jack, and um, You'll notice there's no connection exactly to your computer. There's just your headphone, so not too much you can, you can see there. Uh, when we power on the device, you'll first you notice that the product has a concurve display. What I mean by that is, it's, it's it has kind of a slant to it. It goes downwards, um, which is an interesting design because when it's sitting on your desk, it's easier to see. The screen is monochrome. It's not backlit as you might expect from a lot of graphing calculators. So it's really good on your eyes. Unfortunately, you know, it's a little bit less of a good resolution. So when you're looking through a long list, it's going to be a little bit more faded in direct sunlight. And also, uh, the screen isn't as sharp. But it's still entirely usable. You can set uh, graphs for windows for X um, and Y minimums and maximums so you can see which part of a parabola or any graph that you're, you're setting up. You can uh, look at your zoom in, zoom out. You can look at your graph. You can uh, scroll around um, your points and uh, navigate that way. You can also just take a look at the graph. From the graph view, you can see the screen. It takes well advantage of the device. It doesn't expand to the entire dimension. So there's a little bit of the screen that's not going to be used. It's probably, it, there's no pixels on the very left-hand side and the very right-hand side. It's a little bit smaller than the actual window. So that's something it's also take, take note of. Um, otherwise, it's, it's also really easy to make calculations and computations on this device. The uh, the regular features like logs, um, algorithms, and you can install programs. It's a graphing calculator. It's basically just a computer. Uh, you can do a lot of stuff with that. Um, the screen, again, is a little more washed out. Battery life is not going to be as strong, but it's still really easy to use. You've got your four-way toggle on the right-hand side. You have your mode selection key to uh, contrast with different selections, your statistics, your alpha key, your second key, which doubles as a yellow button when you press that. You have a, a numeric D-pad. The buttons are also really tactile. They're really solid and easy to press, just like today's calculators. Um, they're well-spaced and um, well and easy to use by feeling your way around by feel. You've also got your parentheses, um, your x squared, your exponential stuff, and turning the device on is the same button as turning the device off. So the TI-84 is basically uh, it's, it's a grandfather of what we've seen as today's graphing calculators. It's already seen around three generations, just um, from the TI-84 to the TI-84 Plus to Inspire. Three generations long, and their Texas Instruments, Texas Instruments graphing calculators are still wildly popular. And in terms of really just power usage and uh, features, nothing has super changed. Except the TI-84, you know, it's going to not lack ox offer a lot less apps from Texas Instruments directly than the TI Inspire today, because there's a lot more support, a lot more technology going into it. Um, but for the most part, your basic graphs and stuff is going to look entirely the same. Thanks for watching here at osnvtxreviews.com. Check out our full review on our website. Thank you for watching.